According to the International Facilities Management Association, often called IFMA, corporate facilities are often the second largest asset and expense for an organization. Employees are a company's largest asset. A well-designed and managed workplace improves morale, productivity, and retention of employees, which leads to an improved financial performance. Facilities management technology is critical for smooth operations, access to up-to-date information, and the ability to visualize how space is utilized. So what does a facilities manager actually manage? Well, people, places, processes, and technology all play a part every day. Let's look at each of these. How do you manage your people and places? It all starts with people. The employees, contractors, executives, visitors, students, anyone who uses the facilities. It is critical to maintain an up-to-date list of people along with details about where they sit and their department or cost center. Often this list comes from the Human Resources Department as they control who is on payroll. The personnel list should provide instant access to a detailed personnel form. This form houses photos, floor map location, and move history for every employee. People need a place to work, plus support spaces, including restrooms, storage rooms, kitchens, etc. It could be an entire building or a leased suite with a wide variety of space categories and types. Larger organizations often have multiple buildings located on a single campus or spread around the world. Each building should have a code number or abbreviation, plus a name and address. It is handy to have occupancy statistics available at a glance. Inside each building are floors, which are divided up into individual spaces. Each space requires a unique identifier or room number, plus a boundary line that defines the area in square feet or with metric values. Each space gets a record in the database. The space form allows a facilities manager to assign space categories and types, assign personnel, plus override organizational ownership and input manual areas if required. Room dimensions and the perimeter are also calculated. Establishing good processes is key to effective management and smooth running operations. Various steps and procedures are defined and refined to address critical tasks such as managing moves, preventive maintenance of assets, ergonomic surveys, or health and safety requirements. Each process is designed to provide a step-by-step -step progression for a set of tasks, such as the life cycle of a work order from request through review, approval, assignment, and completion, with a complete history of all costs and status change dates. Moves, Ads, and Changes, or MAC, as it's often called, is a very important process. People are very expensive, so downtime must be minimized. Plus, most people do not like change and can be easily frustrated if things do not go smoothly. A good process helps. A database is invaluable for keeping track of all activities, whether it be a on-demand work order or a major group move. All participants must be able to view the status and progress throughout the process. Certain problem types have high priority and must be addressed as soon as possible, while smaller tasks can be deferred or put on hold. Email notifications are sent 
to all stakeholders automatically as things change. The final piece of the FM puzzle is technology. Many components are involved in today's world of cloud computing, mobile devices, and seamless back-end integration. For example, a facilities manager will want a scheduled data feed from the Human Resource Department to keep the occupancy and floor plan reports current without any manual re-entry of data. Desktop PCs, tablets, smartphones, laptops, and kiosks all require immediate and secure access to a central repository of facilities information, both data and drawings. Most often, a single sign-on or SSO solution is implemented to increase security and ease user application access management. Once a user is logged into the FM system, a role-based dashboard is provided to allow access to the database functions and reports required. The dashboard is often tailored to make the system easy to understand and easy to use. Facilities management revolves around floor plans. Often reporting is required for a single building or a single floor. Information about space utilization, space use, headcounts, and business unit calculations require accurate and intelligent drawings. A good example is the Spaces by Category visual report. This highlighted color-coded drawing displays each space category, the total area of each, plus a count. This kind of graphic report is generated into PDF format for easy sharing and printing. Another valuable example is the space occupancy status report. It shows which spaces are underutilized, overutilized, or unoccupiable. At a quick glance, a facilities manager can see any vacant spaces that could be used for a new hire or for a personnel move. Adding employee names to a floor plan is just a press of a button. The personnel list knows the exact location of each staff member and can instantly generate an occupancy plan. This technology allows for changing the text rotation, font size, and colors as needed. Computer-aided design, or CAD, has been around for decades. However, there are few experts with the skills to maintain the details on each drawing. Often the plans are too busy to be useful, with far too many details showing from the many layers left turned on. And often, way too much text detail clutters the output. The modern facilities management approach is to make the base drawing intelligent. This is done with special link layers on the CAD drawing. These layers are established to extract the room areas defined with closed polylines. And then the number for each space is added inside the polyline. These two definitions are used by the database to assist the facilities manager with maintaining all people and place related data. Once the polylines and space IDs are established, the drawing file is connected to the database using a set of linking tools that validate the FM drawings integrity and populate the space database with accurate areas for the entire floor plan. Back to the beginning, now you know what a facility manager manages. People, place, process, and technology. All from a web portal. To learn more about modern facility automation, drop me an email, nick.springate at infrastructure.net or visit www.infrastructure.net 
slash facilities.